talked about it last week with Hader, and now here we are again in this case with not one but two incidences yesterday. What thoughts go through your well, mind? Well, it's a disturbing trend, and I was trying to figure some parallels that all of these situations had in common. So I want to name some of the individuals that we've talked about for national consumption, and I'm making this up, on this program about people that had offensive tweets. DiVincenzo of Villanova now plays for the Bucks. Josh Allen plays for the mm -hmm. Buffalo Bills. Yep. Josh Hader, who plays for the Brewers. Trey Turner plays for the Nationals. And Sean Holcomb that plays for Newcomb, the Braves. Yeah. Newcomb, okay. So the trend, besides the fact that all of these are white American men that most likely grew up in the United States, literally, the offenses of the tweets actually were similar in either they offended gays or they was anti-racial sentiment towards minorities, in particular blacks. And so when I see this trend, and I understand certain terms have been used as dog whistles in our, in our society, make America great again, America's pastime. And a lot of times that gets overblown, that, that gets overlooked. And I don't care that somebody who's only quote unquote 17 years old. And by the way, I did, I did some of the dumbest things in life as a teenager. So I'm not disparaging a young person by making a poor decision while they were young. What I will say and I want to highlight is being 17 is an excuse for this behavior. You're old enough to operate a motor vehicle. You're old enough to know that you're offending somebody else and that you have a racist overtone and that you're, there are certain things that you should not be saying about other individuals. So that's um, what disturbing to me about this situation. And this is going to continue to happen. So for young people, again, when you are on social media, now just think about it. We're all on social media. You think about what you post. Mm -hmm. And there's so many times before you press a, a send a tweet or before you do an IG post, you erase it, you modify it, you change it. So it's one thing to actually say it in company of people that you feel comfortable speaking like that. It's another thing to actually type it, have a conscience of it, and then press sin. So that's the thing I want to put out there for young people is that that level of pressing sin, it never goes away. Yeah, and, and I agree with Jalen 100%. And I think, one, I, can th I think we can turn this into a positive. You look at the Me Too movement and all the stuff that happened in Hollywood. I'm glad that people started talk, talking about it, right? So Twitter has shown that just because you're a knucklehead 18-year-old doesn't mean you can say these things or have these thoughts. You know, take yourself back to the locker room when you were 17, 18, or, or the, the lunchroom. You heard things that weren't right, and, and, and guys were doing things that weren't right, and you didn't say anything because you didn't want to be an outcast. Now, you know what? Hopefully 18-year-olds are going to step up and say, hey, dude, that's not cool. Don't be saying those words. Don't be talking like that. And I, hopefully we can turn this into a positive that makes kids all over this country, regardless of Twitter, say, you know what, man, that's not cool. Let, let's not talk like that. I think it's less about, hey, don't tweet this or don't put this out on social media. It's, it's don't think this way. Don't have these thoughts. Don't have this be the way that you approach life and the way that you talk about people. I mean, that, that's one core deal here. But, you know, another thing that I'm wondering, do you guys think that their apologies have been sincere enough? No. Do, we, do, do you want Why more Why do you say no? That? Because um, you just alluded to it. It's one thing to actually post it, but it's another thing to feel that way. And so when you put it out there like that, there, there, there's a level of... Um, humility that you should have when it gets thrown back into your face. And I have not seen any of these individuals literally fall on the sword based on their behavior. One of the individuals, the relief pitcher for the Brewers, he got a standing ovation yeah, no more when standing he returned ovations. it to his job yeah, that's, for it. Yeah. So when that happens, it's like when you retweet something, it almost comes off as an endorsement. So when you don't get this level of blowback by that behavior, you don't truly have to apologize, Green. Yeah, he got a standing ovation at home. He did get booed on the road. Again, this is three incidences, of not, not all of them identical, but certainly of a similar nature in the course of just the last seven days. 